remember this game. Well, yeah, now there's a dating simulator off of it. It's a, um, a game where you get to date murderers. I paid ten dollars for this. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like playing dating sims on my channel because it's freaking hilarious. So let's go! Welcome to your dream vacation. Before we get started, what shall we call you? <laughs> you wake up on the beach, soaking wet. Salt water is stinging the inside of your throat as you nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. Uh, can you imagine that? You just wake up and you're like, I think my name is Thick Mick. Nice. What you do know is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <coughs> wow. Really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute. Or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute. We've got plenty of time. Endless time, really. An eternity, eternity if, you if you catch my drift. Whoa! Not now, Ocean. Sorry, Thick Mick. May I continue? Please, go on. Okay, then. As I was. <coughs> As I was saying, you look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. This, this, what, this is, this, is this a horror, horror dating sim? A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit a stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, and other ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come so easy. Your mind is completely blank. Thank you for calling my voice, uh, well-spoken and, uh, and charming. What will you do? Dig up that face. Close your eyes. RUN! You turn away from this wretched sight and begin to run, but the beach, it's endless. Despite how far you run, you get nowhere. Exhausted, you stop and look behind you. You footsteps erase off the blue waves. You turn inland. Considering your lack of options, you've got no choice but to walk into the brush. However, the beauty of the beach is not shared by the darkness of the palmy woods before you. There is nothing inviting about that shadowy forest. Terror freezes you in your steps. Why are you trying to run away? This is paradise. You are here to enjoy yourself. Don't, Don't you know? know? Have, Have a little, little bit of fun. fun. Take, Take charge, charge of your own experience. experience. Well, that was sure weird, that voice again. Do oceans normally talk? Your memory isn't right. But you're pretty sure you remember learning as a child that oceans do not speak directly to people in spooky terms. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation, as you feel something soft bump into your foot. <gasps> Yay! We get to meet the killers now. <laughs> when you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down frozen. A voice calls out from behind you. Little help, please. Oh, it's the Huntress. You turn around, and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hit the ground. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, your leg. I'm so sorry, miss. You need to go to the doctor. Oh, so why is there blood on your hands? Oh my god, this is terrifying! <laughs> your gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-intended volleyball court. Uh, pull down your skirt, miss! Oh, if this video gets set as to made for kids, I'm gonna scream. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed. Let's call them killers. I don't know. Not to be judgmental, but that just, you know, gave the energy they're putting out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once that you are completely paralyzed. Hello! Yes, that's the voice that the trapper has, guys. There are weird days, and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at the monstrous line of, uh, well, literal monsters. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? Toss it back, kick it back, say no thanks! Do nothing. <laughs> no thanks! No thanks! <laughs> well, that was an alpha move. You just became the type of person who says no thanks to a group of actual killers. <laughs> no, no one, one tells, tells you, you what, what to do. do. Thanks for nothing, I guess. 
Huntress jogs over to collect the ball from the ground next to you. For some reason, so large, she moves directly and silently across the sand. It's hard to make out this expression behind the mask, but it seems like Trapper might be smirking? As you try to read Trapper's face, you realize the two of you have been staring into each other's eyes for a really long time, even though everyone else here has headed back to the volleyball court. No, no thanks. Do <laughs> I need to say no thanks again? <laughs> Finally, you can't take the tension, and you look down, breaking his gaze. As you do, he turns to follow them. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach. Should you be frightened, worried, excited? I did refer to them as killers, not to give them away, but uh, at the same time, they are very appealing in their own way and nobody is so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't, Don't be scared. scared. Thick, thick. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. Okay. It seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. Oh god, no, he's angry at me for not making eye contact with him. You derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's best just to go with what Trapper says when he says that it's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who seems to have fresh blood on their hands. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just say no thanks to him again. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. Uh, what? What's your deal? What brings you here? Look, I don't care why the slack-jawed moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? Why are you getting- why are you in the stands? You know you can. At least not yet. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey Thickmick, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There will be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. Be warned, answer quickly and answer well. Oh god, no, this is a time quiz and it might uh, be very important later. Very important. Or not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one, I can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? The uh, very. I'd say I'm very attractive. That's what you think. Very attractive is? Compared to this? <laughs> yes. Trap reflexes and his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his veins. <laughs> If you had any superpower, what would it be? Uh, uh, flight. Flight for sure. Technically, I suppose I can fly. Honestly, it's not all that cracked up to be. As far as I go, I'm still not where I want to be. What's your best subject in school? Uh, history. History? Nice! It's important to know what comes before so we're not all doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes again. I mean, we will always, but uh, still. What's your favorite animal? Uh, dog. Dog? <laughs> you would look absolutely adorable in a puppy mask. Uh, no, I don't think so. What's your favorite color? There's not pink here! Blood red. What if I say three day old corpse? <laughs> Nobody would expect me to pick this, so I'm gonna say three day old corpse. That's a pretty edgy answer, right? I'm pretty dangerous. I talk about corpses. No biggie. What am I- Why am I playing this game? Those are no good to me unless they've been frozen. You'd be surprised by how quickly good meat can spoil. Or maybe you wouldn't be surprised. I'm still getting to know you. What's your dream job? I did. Uh, 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 I'd be pretty amazing as an astronaut, I think. It's hard to imagine being further away from anyone than floating in space. The cold, inky vastness of nothing forever. Best flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. My flavor is pain. Come on. What the hell is wrong with you? Mine is vanilla swirled with pain. Mint chip is the greatest flavor ever conceived myself. But enough about ice cream. Am I right? Hold on. This reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. We're, We're teaching, teaching lessons, lessons now, now, narrator. You, you rascal. rascal. Kill, Kill or be, be killed. killed. 
It's the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me what's the best flavor of ice cream? Uh, mint chip. The best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start to get to know them. I don't want to know you though, Trapper. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and love big, dumb idiots. That sounds fair, actually. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't like, uh, I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? You gotta go to the hospital for that piece of glass on your shoulder, my gal. Hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let those bummers get you down. There is lots of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. Yeah, there is. You know what I mean? Grow up. Grow a body. <laughs> I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Whatever, fog body. It's not nice. He's not nice. No, nobody does. I don't know why people think that it's attractive to whatever. Only sometimes? Huntress. You really, that's disgusting. I, yeah, I completely agree with this facial expression. You are completely right. That's why she likes it. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. What? Wait, didn't you just say that you like it? What? Stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time ever, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on. Otherwise, they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off very soon. If we're done playing, let's move on to something else instead. Wow, for once I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to my yacht. It's the massive boat docked nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happiness. What about hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Hey, I want to know about the volleyball game. We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you all serious? There's a perfectly good lounge to chill out right there. I'm tired, and besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? Ooh, I like... Hold on. <coughs> I don't know! I like all these places! Um, I want to go over by the lounge. How about the yacht? Oh, it's the yacht. Oh no, it's the yacht. I picked the yacht. No, now I'm gonna have to hang out with Trapper. I'm sorry guys, it's just Trapper is not my type at all. Worst case, we'll find out how strong your bones are and how heavy you pick up and throw and how fast your lifeless body sinks. Should be a pretty chill day regardless. Oh, Claudette! Hey! Look! Claudette and Dwight! Hold on, just for a moment. Hi, Dwight. This is Dwight and Claudette, our TV's coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're the only help remaining on the island. This place we call Murderer's Island. Cue dramatic musical flourish. That is not... <laughs> None of the others survived. That was not the correct dramatic musical. Okay, let's just move on. <clears throat> Survive the interview process, I mean. Hence why we should have to refer to them as survivors with a capital S. These two have worked here for a long time. So very long, I don't actually know how long it's been. Sorry. Anyway, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with nervous energy. That is starting to give me the creeps. 
Why are you guys in this stance? You look like you're trying to form a pyramid, but like the opposite direction. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna give Dwight a voice like this. I know everybody's gonna hate me for it. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to represent you with options whenever possible, and just don't run off to various activities unsupervised. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you could do is help us get off this I- Dwight! Yes, pardon me. Please follow us! A narrator? Yes, something I can help you with? Those two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape them? <laughs> No, 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 I think you're mistaken. It seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off of this island, though. Oh, right, that, yes, that's true, he was. But that's just, uh, what he meant. He wants to get off to the other vacation island getaway. A couple of miles south of here. It's, it's so much fancier. Accommodations, this island. <laughs> The, the, the accommodations are so much more fancy on that island. You are fine. It's one of those big corporate outfits. Quite exclusive where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island does, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money, comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity on this island. Your decisions matter, mostly, when I agree with them. Not like the other island. So what'll it be? Okay, this is a horror dating game. I don't know why that didn't cross, cross my mind before. Um, okay, so I can choose the yacht again. Do I want to choose the yacht, though? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? No, I'm going, I'm going over here. I don't want to be around Trapper. Oh no, I picked the spirit. I don't know whose idea of volleyball was in the first place, but I hate them. I tried to feign a sprained ankle, but everyone knows that I technically float above the ground, so nobody believed I was putting any pressure on my joints in the first place. Then I tried to annoy everyone by not giving anything, you know, like, just not caring. I'm not gonna say any bad words here. <laughs> no. And, uh, then when that didn't work, I tried whining, and then that didn't work. I threatened to kill every single person on this island, but... It turns out I'm not the first to toss those kind of threats around on this island. So, thanks, I guess, for getting it called off. Are we threatening to end each other again? <laughs> now it's Dwight who takes on the conspiratorial tone, his eyes shifting as he slips into a loud whisper. Please, just make it quick! <laughs> oh my god! This is what you'll be saying when you... when we get behind the bar to make you a drink of your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, right, Dwight? Yeah, right, right. So what will you be having? I'm very scared of this. On a day like today, I could eat something strong. Scotch on the rocks. Do enjoy. Who would drink that? It smells like... Oh. You need to embrace the burning. No, I hate the, the, the burning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why would you embrace that? Burning is... Wraith stifles a sob. <laughs> Why are you crying from the idea of burning? No, I can't even think about it. Well, then don't. No skin off my back, you weirdo. Come to think of it. Strong. Expensive. Better the longer you leave it in the basement. Scotch is the best. <laughs> Trapper guzzles half the bottle and burps. Jinx? It'd be disgusting if it wasn't, so... No, disgusting is exactly what it is. Since we fulfilled your requests... It's time for you to return the favor. It sh 
I, I should know there was a catch. Icebreaker time! I swear, had I known they pulled this kind of fox enthusiastic community building stuff, I'd suggest we attempted to walk the lowest point of the ocean before I ever set foot near this bar. You don't think it'd be kind of fun? A little fun? Never mind. I hate it. This sucks. But it could be fine. Or whatever you say. Has anyone seen my hat? Right, you have a hat? Why? Well, actually, it might be a good idea for you to get a hat. I've literally never seen him in a hat. That's... That is what I was saying. If we must make small talk, I'm at least picking a topic before we end up being forced to do some lame improv game that nerds learn at their non-sports after school activities that I definitely never did because I'm no nerd. Methinks a certain someone doth protest too much. Sitting here on this beautiful sunny afternoon, warm sand beneath a cool fog beneath my sub severed feet. <laughs> the topic I choose is books, novels, comics, fiction, or none. Reading is the only real escape from the inescapable horror of life. The escape into your own mind. A groan rolls around in the crowd. Not a lot of readers here, I imagine, based on the response. They were much more enthusiastic about drinking. Considering the situation we're in, it seems an appropriate time to ask you. Thick Mick, what's your- I forgot I named myself that. What's your dessert island book? The one you'd bring with you if you were well on an island like this. Oh. And it has to be a classic horror, for reasons that should be obvious. She means because this is an island of horror villains. And also, those books are all in the public domain. Nothing too modern. Humanity has really gotten the soft these past hundred years, so what's your favorite? Ah, uh, no. No, I do like horror books. I love horror books like Five Nights at Freddy's and Metro, but not Dracula and Frankenstein and... No... But okay, I'll say Dracula. Dracula is one classic. That's still scary. To be seduced by some beautiful stranger only to learn later that they're an immortal villain. Really? Is that what Dracula is? It's downright thrilling! Well, I guess, but uh, I was going to say that despite the deviant behavior of Dracula and the threat of possible danger or even death that he possesses, you can't help but... Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So, what if the old doctor says he's a bad boy? You're supposed to reek like garlic and sleep alone? What did they, uh, think? Who did they think would buy into that? If you're going to be trapped in the nightmare that is undead life eternal, which I know a little something about, you could do a lot worse than great clothes. A classic and lover who doesn't take anything from anybody. The scariest part of Dracula is thinking that no one will ever be quite as interesting to... <laughs> hmm. Ah, you know, you know, spirit has opinions. And I respect her opinions because she's a human being that also reserves, deserves respect, yes. Um, not meaning that her opinions are the correct ones, but they are opinions. Enough about these old stories that belong to someone else. I think it's time to make up some new stories of our own. Oh no, she's lifting up the line of the axe. Before you know what's going on, Huntress is waving an empty vodka bottle in the air, a devilish twinkle in her eye, half mask covered eye. Might I suggest something a little naughty? Let's all get into a circle and spin this bad boy! Uh. <laughs> what was that reaction? Why? Why did I do that? Listen guys, let's just... Let's just forget about that whole entire everything that just happened there, okay? This, it's a good idea. It's a great idea. It, it's a great idea, yeah! Trickster! Isn't it a bit late to introduce a new character? I thought I was the one who gets to make the roles, so I'm not sure who I'm asking. But, uh, I wasn't ready for this. 
Well, hello! And who is this new fan in the waiting? Beat it back! I don't know what's the harm in inviting one more person to join the circle for our game. Oh, I can't stay? I was just saying it's a great idea while also teasing the secret trickster ending. What? There's a secret trickster ending? We have so much better things to do than hang out here. I'm famous! Doo -doo -doo -doo. No! Come back! <laughs> Why? I should end the video here. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the stupid game first. The spin the bottle. And then I'm gonna end the video. The rules are simple. First you spin, then you swap spin. That is swap spin. What <laughs> But let's be clear. Th that is the most disgusting way to mention kissing somebody. Let's be clear, this ain't a peep show. We're here to have a good time, but in a classy way. All makeouts will happen out of a few of the public eye, real romantic-like. Yes, romance is the goal, so we'll be waiting here in complete silence trying to listen in and use our imaginations while you make out in the other side of the bar, but not watching- Why are you- Why? Why do you say this thing? Why- Why do you say these things? Like adults. Romantic, well-adjusted adults. That's not the word I would use for you. Adult is very far from it. Thick mick, you're up! Okay, you grip the bottle in your hand and put your fate into the hands of the empty bottle gods! Mini game consists of two parts on the top right corner, which- Rotates in the clockwise direction. Okay, let's do this. There's an upcoming mini game. It's a special. Okay, perfect for the less coordinated because there's no winning or losing. Well, not technically. Wherever the pointer stops, that's your result. I suppose if it doesn't stop where you want it to, it's a bit like losing, but no one has to know if you don't tell them. Okay, ready? Play. Or would you want me to repeat that? Ready? Ready. Our way we go! Spin the bottle and see who you're gonna spooch! <laughs> go! Oops. Uh, oh, I, I forgot to do that. No! You got Trapper! You two are meant to be! Psych! You have to actually spin multiple times, yes! To get your first real resort. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh No! Dang it! Dang it! You got Trevor! No, 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 no! 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 What are the chances? No! No! What are the chances? Just this morning you were waking up on a strange- No! No! No, no! No! <laughs> I don't- This is- Let's save it. It's not happening. Yay! Don't cry. I know to get this close to living God and then feel the sting of rejection, it must hurt so bad. But don't take it personally. Well, we'll do... But... Okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's not because I don't want to. It's because you haven't earned it yet. You might later. For now, it can't be that easy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Trapper. You really dodged a bullet. That means you have a chance to present yourself in a bit more flattering of a light later, assuming you survive. I'm not ashamed to tell you that I think you're cute. What? Ah. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Tell anyone I told you this and you die. They die. And then I have you revived and kill you again. If anyone asks, I was the best you ever had, which I might just... okay, yeah. I hate to break up such a passionate moment! That we only assume was passionate because we'd ever spy on you consistently while you stay on this island! But dinner is being served right away and we must insist that you join us. We wouldn't want anyone dying of starvation. When there are so many more interesting things to die from! Wait, so can they kill me in this game? Because they're really talking about this a lot. Seems like the next activity is mealtime? How quaint! 
You were expecting what? To capture the flag? Do you want things to be complicated? It is to run a game like that? Much. Okay, you arrive at the cookout area and find an assortment of picking tables. Yeah, alright, alright. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this video here. I might come back to this if you guys want me to. I don't know why you would, but like, look at Dwight's hand before you leave this video. If you want him to finally get the hand surgery that he needs, please subscribe. He really needs it, and uh, all of my money from this video is directly going to charity for Dwight's hand, so he can get better. So please, please help. He needs it a lot. It's only gonna work out if you subscribe. And with all that said, I'm gonna leave this video here. Let's pretend none of this ever happened. I am going to wipe your memory now. In three, two, one.